Phoenix is getting audited, so now they have to speak for what they did. Tonight, Phoenix police are talking about an ABC 15 investigation. Last night, we exposed major problems with the department's kidnapping statistics, which were used to get millions in federal money. Now, just hours ago, police admitted those numbers were wrong. And now we have audio recordings of a lieutenant talking about it, but she doesn't want you to hear them. Only on ABC 15, Dave Biscobing breaks open a new angle on this investigation. You've seen the headline. And heard it before. The kidnapping capital of the United States. But we found the Phoenix Police Department reported more than 100 kidnapping cases in 2008 that legal experts tell us should not have been counted. Now federal investigators want to know if Phoenix Police used inflated statistics to get millions of dollars in government grants. Is there something wrong with these reports? No. That was Sergeant Tommy Thompson last week. But tonight, less than 24 hours after we broke our investigation, Sergeant Thompson sent out a prepared statement that admitted the department's kidnapping statistics were wrong. There's nothing wrong with them. These are all... Oh, they're police reports, yeah. Our officers were out there. Also tonight, we were going to play you an audio tape from Lieutenant Lori Burgett. She runs the kidnapping investigation unit, and in that recording, she spoke about concerns with the statistics. But we just received this cease and desist letter from Lieutenant Burgett. So tonight, out of caution, we are consulting with our attorneys before we play for you what's on that tape. Lieutenant Burgett's name is also on one of the federal grant applications. And those grants cite the kidnapping statistics as proof that the city needed extra money to fight kidnappings. And if federal investigators find the police department used inflated statistics, it could mean the city would have to return the grant money and face further investigation. In Phoenix, I'm Dave Biscobing, ABC 15 News. I had a chance to talk with police commander Andy Anderson tonight, and he told me police don't have an exact number on other reports they believe could also be classified as kidnapping. He says reports which may involve other crimes are often reported under those other crimes, even if they involve a kidnapping. Anderson tells me police will provide accurate reports as soon as they have them. So stay with ABC 15 and ABC15.com for breaking developments. New